This is a re-recording of my audio replacement tutorial because I figured I did a bad job the first time around. First of all, I recommend you visit the Deadlock Modding website, uh, deadlockmodding.pages.dev. Look through this, it has a replacing sounds page. This will basically be what I'm doing one to one. Uh, but I guess I'm just here as a visual guide. So. Go into your dropdown and find Billy Audio Template. Duplicate that add-on. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to be replacing 7's alt. So, 7 alternate alt. Find that in the dropdown. And then hit Explore Content Folder. You'll see two folders pop up. A Sound Events folder and a Sounds folder. In this sounds folder will already be the file path for Billy's Blasted. If you're changing Blasted, keep this as it is. If you're not, you can go ahead and delete the file path from Punk Goat. If you're changing Hero Abilities, you'll want to keep this folder. If you're not, you can delete that too. Sound Events. The Sound Events folder has the um, uh, Sound Events file. Uh, these are if you want to make modifications, the Steam Developer Community Wiki has, um, stuff on it, if you want to look through those. It, these files allow you to change pitch, delay, fall off, uh, randomization of the sound, and whatnot. So if you want to jump into that, or if you want to amplify your volume, you can use the sound defense file. Uh, to open these, you'll need to right-click on them and use a notepad editor, and that'll bring up everything you can change. So for Billy, for example, his um, gun firing sound, you can see like volume, volume fade out, offsets. This will allow you to change most of these things, and this can be... these These files can be found... Well, let's look. Let's go to Source 2 Viewer. Let's find Deadlock, Game Citadel Pack 01, and you can see a Sound Events and a Sounds folder. If you want to change Sound Events, you can click on this folder and go to Hero, and you can see all the Hero Sound Events files. And you can decompile and export that, that to your desktop and edit it that way. But if we're just changing sounds, go down to the sounds folder and find whatever sound you want to change. I'll be changing an ability sound, which is Seven, who's known as Gigawatt in the files, and I'll be changing his Gigawatt Stormcloud LP. This is the persistent lightning sound uh, during his ult. So, how do I get this sound? Well, right click on the V sound decompile and export, and it'll do that as an mp3. I'm just going to do that to my desktop. And now I have the Stormcloud mp3. But we're not done with Source 2 Viewer. Go back to the content file path we created for our add-on. Click on Sounds, uh, and then copy the file path that you see in Source 2 Viewer to your sound. So, for example, I would be copying sounds, abilities, gigawatt, and then I would put my mp3 in here to be compiled into a v sound. So let's create that file path here. We already have sounds, we already have abilities. The name of my hero, gigawatt. And then in here is where I'd put my custom sound. Let's minimize both that and Source 2 Viewer for now. Find the sound you want to be replacing, and find the sound you want to be replacing it with. Open an audio editor of your choice. Drag, firstly, drag the audio you'll be replacing into your audio editor. Sounds about right. Drag the sound you want to be replacing it with in as well. Now, if your sound loops, you will want to export as a WAV, and then 
use an app to make it loop. There's several methods to doing that. You can find them in the Discord. However, if your sound is one short, like maybe it's a it's um, Paradox's pulse bomb going off. That that plays once and it plays it plays the same sound over and over. So you won't need it to be you'd want to match the length of the pulse bomb. For something like Stormcloud, I'm pretty sure it it plays as long as his alt can be played. So if you had superior duration, it would play the entirety of this sound. But my sound is quite a bit shorter. Or your sound might be quite a bit longer. Uh, the V sound, uh, what is it called? The, fa the sound event file dictates how long it will play. So if it's longer, it'd be fine. But you could also just cut it down to the same length if you wanted to. My sound sounds a bit quiet, so I'd go to Effect, Volume and Compression, Amplify. That's a bit louder. There we go. So, I have my sound. Uh, the file name is the same as the one I'll be replacing. I can go to File, Export Audio. And I want to export as a WAV, because um, I don't remember exactly why, but WAVs, uh, you can loop the audio using the application I'm going to use. So I can X out of Audacity, and I'll have a WAV with the same file name as the sound I'll be replacing. And it will have my the audio I want to replace. Now, if your sound does not loop, or if you're not looping audio, you can skip this part, I'll have a timestamp. However, if you are looping your audio, like if it's shorter than it, then uh, if, the, if the audio is designed to loop that you're replacing, they're, that you're, you know, if you're, you know, you know, if your sound loops, if you want it to loop, because it's shorter than the sound you're replacing, you can do something like this. I'm using an application called Loop Auditoneer. The website's a bit scary and outdated, but it works. So I'll open this application up. Uh, you need a working folder for this application. I've already set it up. And I can see the sound we just created. I'll go up here to these arrows. I'll click create a new loop. And as you can see here, it won't always be perfect. You can see that it cuts off the beginning and a bit of the end. You can right click over here and hit edit loop. And then when you change these values, it will reflect the length. I don't exactly know what these values are in samples. I don't know how to read samples, so what I do is I just crank the, the numbers up. So let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5 numbers, I'll just make it a bit higher, let's go 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. And then it covers the end too. So now I have a loop created for the entirety of my sound file. <clears throat> I can go up here and I can hit save, and then if I close this application, go in here, I should now have my WAV that will loop. It should loop itself now. So now we have our sound. Go come to our add-on, hit explore content folder, or if you minimized it, open it back up. Go to sounds, abilities, whatever sound, whatever file path you're using, and drag your MP3 or WAV in there. We can now close that. Launch CSDK 12. Type in the name of the sound you will be changing. Uh, Giga Watt. I don't remember exactly what it's called. We can see it here. Wow, it's not going to stop, huh? So it's closed. But that, we'll, we'll ignore that. Um, find your sound, right-click on it. Uh, you can recompile it, or you can play it to compile it. If you see this here, you'll know you're on the right path. 
So click on the compiled file path, which is right here. And you'll see that you'll have a vsoundc file. Go back in your directory and locate sounds. You'll want to copy the sounds folder. This contains the file path. And if you duplicated the add-on, you'll want to delete the punk goat part of this. So it's just your compiled sound. So copy that from sounds. So we've copied our sound path, created a new folder. This will be the folder we're using to compile our mod. So name it whatever you want. I'll be naming it 7 alternate alt. And then paste the file structure in there and you'll see sounds, abilities, gigawatt, and then your compiled sound. Now we're ready to compile our mod. Open source to viewer, right cl uh, click on file, create VPK from folder, right click on new VPK, add existing folder, navigate to this folder we just created with the compiled sound, Right click new VPK again. In fact, before we do that, open the sounds folder and see if your sound is there. Double click on it, you can preview it. And then you can right click on new VPK, save VPK to disk, hit, um, you don't have to hit anything. I just have it here. And you'll want to name it pack two numbers <clears throat> up to 99 and then underscore dir directory. I already have it here, so I'm just going to save over it. And then if we open Deadlock, we should have our sound reflected in-game. There we go.